to watch out for in an audit? Hi, my name is Julia M. Spencer. I'm a real estate advisor, investor, and your number one source for real estate advice online. Welcome again from the beautiful Amsterdam in the Netherlands where I'm on vacation this summer again with my kids. And I'm answering some questions that I've had on my YouTube channel. And this video is about some of the things that you need to watch out for in an US IRS audit. So first off, what's an audit? That's when you basically filed your taxes and the IRS comes back to you because they saw some irregularities and they want to check and verify that you reported all your income and that you're actually entitled to all your deductions. The IRS can actually only go back about three years to audit you. Now, if they find something that's really, really bad and you've done some really bad things, um, they can go up to six years. But they usually try to do these audits very close to the time that you filed. So the longer time passes, the more um, there's going to be a chance that they're not going to audit you. So let's get to some of the things that you need to watch out for and how you can kind of um, weigh the scales into your advantage if you are called for an audit. First off, delay. If you get an appointment for an audit, reschedule it for a later time. Tell them you need more time to get your records together um, or else just um, make up an excuse, you have a doctor's appointment, whatever. Just delay it and delay it as long as you can. Delay it several times if you can. And this is actually a tip that was given to me by a Greybeard investor as well. I found this on the website, but a Greybeard investor is actually um, agreeing with me on that. That same investor gave me another tip, and that would be to schedule your appointment as late as possible in the day. So if you schedule your appointment as late as possible in the day, um, the auditor may have already gone through a couple appointments, they're tired, they just want to get through and they may not be as attentive to find everything that they should be finding possibly. So that's another tip. Next tip is prepare your records. So if you're going to delay, make sure that you um, have your records together, but do prepare them so that you can access them very easily and very quickly and you can answer the questions that are being asked. Which brings me to my next point. Do not answer any questions that you're not asked. Um, only answer the questions that you're asked. Don't bring anything else forward that might be raising any kind of questions or might be an issue. Only answer the questions that you've been asked. Last but not least, um, expect to pay something. The IRS wants to make some money. They're going to come forward and actually um, look for something. If they think it's significant enough that they audit you, they may have found something already. So just minimize that amount and sometimes it's just better to throw them a bone and make them go away versus arguing with them over every single penny. Um, just remember that they can only audit you three years back unless they find something significant as I mentioned in the beginning. Then they can go back up to six years so you don't have to stress too much about anything that's older than three years. If um, you are being audited and the final result comes in, you have to pay something, you also have the opportunity to appeal the results and ask the auditor to explain something to you that you did not understand. Make sure you use those options, keep them occupied for a long time. Um, they'll probably we um, grow wary of you and don't want to deal with you anymore and just let you go, hopefully. In any case, um, it'll weigh the scales to your advantage. And those are my tips for you to have a successful IRS audit, audit that goes to your advantage. For more tips like this, go to my website. It's juliamspencer.com. Subscribe to my newsletter. Download your free guide to real estate investing there. And I hope to see you investing very successfully soon. By the way, check out my radio show. It's on on Wednesdays at noon at WRUULP. Savannah, Georgia, 107.5 FM. That's at noon Eastern Standard Time, U.S. time. And you can check me out there on the radio. You can also stream my radio show online, wruu.org. It's on, um, check out the time difference, but it's on that website every Wednesday. Have a great day. High five from Amsterdam. For your free guide to real estate investing, visit juliamspencer.com.